I should have invested in more farmers markets. The money would have given me just enough of an edge to win, and getting to steal those four victory point tokens would have made the game a whole lot closer. I was right, I should have opened Druid. Perhaps even purchased a second Druid, because Fields Gift could make Druid non-terminal. That trashing would absolutely have been worth it. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought Courtyard. Three, two, one go. The first card I see is Inventor. I love Inventor. You play a bunch of them, you win. The next thing I see is Blessed Village and Hamlet, both of which are going to allow you to play your Inventors. If there's just plus cards, speak of the devil. Alright. Uh, so I'm thinking that you could just Blessed Village, Hamlet, Inventor, Puka to draw them. When? Ah, oh, keep in mind too. Is there way to trash? Yes, it's Puka. There is... It's cold, is not trashing. Why did I click on that? Technically, well, not technically, but as sort of trashing in Blessed Village because uh, Flames Gift. I also see Marauder. I like Marauder and Legionary. Speaking of Legionary, guess who just got the five two? <laughs> I could I could save one coin for next turn and then buy a gold. But why would I do that? Oh wait, it's actually seven coin. You know, I'm thinking I could three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll play a curse gold, copper, copper, copper. And I could save a copper and buy. All right. Now, this buy is going to be really important. So I'm going to want... Puka is trashing, but he won't trash my curses or my cursed gold. And there's no other trashing on the board besides technically Flames Gift. Which I guess Flames Gifting a curse could be clutch, but I guess it depends. Oh, I also noticed Rabble. Rabble's awesome draw, plus it's going to be a great attack. So... I, I probably should open with, oh man, Legionary, some serious coinage. Sculptor can give me some, ah, it's going to give me villager tokens, which I guess aren't really that vital. But going with Inventor could get me down to gain some Pukas, Rabbles, and Legionary straight in my hand. There's Procession. Procession's kind of, sort of, trashing. I mean, it trashes your actions, but whatever. I'm not going to buy that right now, obviously, but... Ah, darn, there's so many good options. You know what? I'm going to go for the basic awesome engine. I'm going to Puka for some trash and get some Rabbles, some Legionaries, play them all with Blessed Village. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I really should stop playing these Cursed Golds. Alright, so I'm going to go for a Rabble, Puka, Blessed Village, maybe Inventor, maybe Legionary Engine. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping it works out for me. I see my foe's already got an Inventor. I love Inventor. But I don't see it working as well as the other options on this board. I shall Hamlet. Uh, I my dis the discards won't really matter. I mean, I may as well discard the state for a buy just while I'm here. But all right, I'm thinking I could take a blessed village to go with my rabble, and maybe if I just get the flames gift, kill that cursed gold, that would be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll take a blessed village, uh, sun's gift. I'll take that now. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm probably gonna draw a copper with Buka, so I'm fine with discarding them all. Boom. Ah. Looks like I'm going to be drawing some stuff dead. So it looks like next turn is just going to be awful. But I guess if I do draw a copper, I can play the copper, buy a save, save something good for next turn. And of course, trashing is trashing. All right, then I can play a copper. And I can save this blessed village for next turn. And that's it. I don't want to play that cursed gold anymore. I'm, I'm done with the cursed golds. I, I cannot eat any more curses than this. Now I've got a blessed village, a hamlet. I'm gonna try to start. I I'm I'm trying to get around to my rat uh, puka. Then I can play that for a bunch of cards. Soon I'm hoping to invest in some legionaries and rabbles. Hamlet, blessed village, and oh, did I not? Did, did I not discard anything? I didn't really need to discard anything, but you know whatever. So I could have three coin or six coin. That six coin is tempting. <sighs> I could just save a copper, but then I just puka and draw everything dead again, because why not? Dang, that's oh, that six coin is so tempting to take a rabble. Yeah, a good rabble engine could crush my foe. Duh. The agony. I could just take a hamlet. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking I'll just do that. And I can save curse for next turn. See if I can uh, it'll stay out of the reshuffle at least. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll be able to puka a copper here, and I can at least save a good thing for next turn. These, getting this trashing is good. 
Um, I'll try to visit some more blessed villages. Okay, then I can save a blessed village for next turn. And buy a hamlet, because why not? Boom, finally, blessed village and hamlet and puka collide. That's good. I'm starting to run out of money. Ouch. So I should probably invest in a legionary, because I can't in fact play him. Get a gold, start hitting my foe with legionaries and rabbles, and oh, it's going to be fun times. Unless he just wins before that happens. So I can Blessed Village, Hamlet, why not discard for a buy? I might need it. I can Puka, boom. Then I can Hamlet, Hamlet. Yeah, that reminds me of the Hamlet rap. Uh, not, yeah, why not discard for a buy? Now I've got my one, two, my three coin. At this point, my deck is probably condensed enough that I can handle a little more money. I'd like some money. I could play the Cursed Gold and take a gold, and then I can hit him with Legionary. That, that could be good. Yeah, I'm going to eat one more curse and take a gold as money. Hooray. All right, I'll be able to Blessed Village Hamlet. Probably not get my Puka, but if I do, I'll be a happy camper. Then I can Puka the Copper, and I can draw the gold. Might have to just buy a silver. That'd be sad, but what can you do? Messenger's another option for buy. It gave me... I could also gain a Blessed Village. Is Blessed Village... Oh, it's when I gain it. I'd give my foe a boon, too, if I Messenger to give him a Blessed Village. So that's sad. Why did I gain a Blessed... Oh, he did a message of a blessed village. <laughs> what do I want the moon's gift? Right now. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray. I probably should have took that next turn. Actually, it wouldn't have made a difference. Would it have? All right, all blessed village. Take another blessed village. Hamlet. Dang it. Uh, what would be the point of discarding? I'll just save a copper for next turn and buy a... Oh, I can't buy a Hamlet. Oh, well. All right, here I can Hamlet. I've got a one in three chance of getting into my Puka. Then I can discard a estate for a buy, play the Puka, trash the Copper, get four cards. That'd be awesome. Here's hoping. Come on, Puka. Yes! The one in three chance paid off. Success. And then I can do that, and I can do this, and I can discard for no reason. These curses are hurting. So at this point, I should probably take... You know what I could do? I can Marauder. I can start marauding him, start getting my start getting myself some spoils, get those legionaries faster. Could also take a procession. Processing hamlets into there's no three coin actions. <laughs> I could start processing blessed villages, maybe. I'm thinking I could take a blessed village and gun for the flames gift, get rid of one of those curses. And I'd be able to play blessed villages that much more. Duh, what I want is money. Because of that, I'm gonna take a marauder. And of course I'll be junking my foe. Here I'll be able to blessed village, blessed village hamlet. Uh, I should really get some plus cards. I've got enough actions to pull that off now. So I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get a rabble at first opportunity. Oh, another another not flames gift boon. Uh, the chances are getting even higher that I could buy buy a blessed village with a flames gift and another not flames gift boon. That really could happen. Oh, blessed village, blessed village, Hamlet. Uh, why not discard for a buy? Give my foe a bad card that he can't trash. And with my one coin, I'll save this curse on the off chance that I trigger a reshovel. All right. Here I can Hamlet, Hamlet, probably draw a copper, Puka it. Get myself some, and that'll trigger a reshuffle, which means that, cur that curse save will have been a smart move. How does my foe have three VP from, from Pukas? He, he only just got a Puka earlier. Not sure what happened there. Oh, well. Man, I'd really like to start slamming my foe with these attacks, but I just can't get my deck together. That happens to me every time I use Puka. I just can't get my stuff together. Maybe Legionary would have been a better buy. Oh, don't I have that gold coming up? I don't think I drew that. No, la did I draw that last turn? I can't remember. Do I have a gold coming up? Well, I'm about to find out. <laughs> Hamlet. Yes, I do. Hamlet. Yes, I'll discard for an action so that I can Puka this copper. Boom. Then I can Bless the Village and Maraud. Then with my... I really don't want to play that Chris Gold. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm going to take the last Blessed Village. Come on, Flames Gift! Dang it. Oh, how, oh, how I wanted Flames Gift. I guess there's no there's no chance of me getting that now. Was Flames Gift really at the in the bottom, too? That's sad. On that or I missed it when it came up. Does so my foe have three Rabbles? Oh, no. I didn't get any Rabbles. Again, with me ignoring Procession. Ah... <sighs> Whenever Procession's on the board, I just lose. I need to study Procession. That's what I should do. 
I'm going to go on the procession page. I'm going to memorize every word, learn all the nuances of procession, figure out exactly how to win whenever procession is on the board, and then I'll be a boss at procession. Then whenever procession is on the board, I'll win. Eh, probably not, but <laughs> I, I never said I was good at Dominion. I'm a lot better when I don't record. Like, when I played in my league matches, I, sw I wrecked shop. I was amazing. I was immediately top of E-League, which I know E-League is very low, but that's where I was placed immediately. And I, I just... I kicked butt. I wonder how I'll do in uh, D-League now. But I was amazing when I wasn't recording. When I do record, I get worse. Like, if I just play a game, I might have, like, a 50-50 chance to win. When I record, I almost always lose. Blessed Village, Hamlet. Ooh. <laughs> Should I puka the spoils? <sighs> no. This turn's gonna just be a worthless turn. Duh, I'd really like to start hitting my foe with some rabbles, but it's... Yeah, he's rabbling me now. He's processioning those rabbles. Into, into nothing. He's losing those rabbles. He's not Grave Robber in this game. Speaking of Grave Robber, Grave Robber is my favorite card. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I just lose. I think those rabbles are just going to wreck me. Yeah, he got a rabble engine together faster than I did. I don't know why he did. Why, why did he get a... Why did, what did he do differently? Alright, so this game's basically lost. I'm probably going to resign, but I'm going to look at what he did differently than me. Alright, so turn one. He... Gets He gets a Hamlet and an Inventor. I open Hamlet and save a Copper. Is that what I did? Did I do that on my second turn? Oh, I say I opened Hamlet Puka, but I ate a Curse too. He opened Hamlet Inventor, I opened Hamlet Puka and save a Copper. So he invented a Blessed Village, getting a coin, and he gets another Blessed Village and the Fields Gift. All right, I Hamlet. I draw a Copper, apparently. I play four coppers. Wait, if I... What happened to the copper I saved? I don't know. But I took a Blessed Village, got the Sun's Gift, was able to Puka. <sighs> I feel like we both went with the same get together our attacks faster, but his just worked faster. I'm probably just going to save this gold. So I can Blessed Village, Blessed Village, get two more bad cards on my deck, save the gold. And that's it. <sighs> I'm going to have to go back and analyze this game. I'm going to do really good analysis. It's going to be cool. Oh, and I'm just sad. I've lost every game today. That's just, that's just how it goes. Unless I'm not recording, then I'm okay. If I'm not recording, I'll, I'll win more often than I lose. If I am recording, I'll lose. Maybe, maybe that's why I win a lot when I'm not recording, because when I am recording, I drag down my account's win rate, and so they pair me up with worse players. Then when I don't record, I destroy them. I kind of feel guilty for that. Maybe I should have two accounts. Maybe I should have one account for when I'm recording, and one for when I'm not. Uh, yeah, I think he's got this game in the bag at this point, so I should probably resign. This game is, yeah, it's, it's in the bag. I'm going to resign. I'm going to first I'll ask him. On the bright side, I went a day without undos. <laughs> Most of my undos are misclicks anyways, but... Uh, yeah, he's okay with it. Alright, I'll get back to you in the uh, analysis. Alright, see you guys next time.